Welcome to the Lake District in the northwest of England. It's a cold, bleak day, and I've got this is today, Saturday and Sunday up here. Hopefully, I can get a few things done photography wise. This is Castle Rig Stone Circle. I've been here for about the last hour or so, and I've got something in the bag. I've got a pano and a couple of other things, but I've got a few other things that I'm going to be doing around the Lake District. I'll be meeting up with a friend of mine named Paul Thompson. So we shall see what it is that we can do. Maybe a lot of waterfalls because it's a bit grey and dismal, but I guess we will see. So let's get on with the vlog and let's see what we can find in the Lake District. The Lake District National Park is one of those places that's just full of iconic locations for British photographers. This particular place, Ashness Jetties, so far as I remember it's called, is basically it goes out onto Derwent water. And as you can see behind me, you're seeing the beginnings of the fells. So this up here is Catbells Ridge. It's actually quite an easy one to get up to as you can drive pretty much most of the way up and then you've got a probably 20 minute walk or so. And then you have an amazing view over Derwent water. I may go there today, I don't know. I just have no real plans. But what I am going to do is try to do a picture of this place because it's been a very long time since uh, I photographed this particular jetty. So I'm going to do a, a panorama of the jetty from, from the jetty itself, but also from the edge of the shoreline just to see what it is I can come up with. Because as I said, it's been so long since I've been here. I just kind of like to renew some of the images that I've done from the past few years or so. New camera, new technique, new eyes. So uh, I'll show you what it is that I'm going to do and let's just see what we can come up with here on the edge of Derwent water. This is the, the view that I'm looking at from my camera down towards that jetty. So let's just turn the, the live view back on. Of course, it always disappears when I start talking. So what have I done? Basically, I've tried to put my camera, my tripod in the middle of this jetty looking down and then what I've added since uh, one of my last vlogs is this rail because I do a lot of panoramic photography but something like this as soon as you start swinging the camera from left over to the right sometimes what you get is parallax problems which is where this rail comes in here so what this is doing is pushing the lens back and then the nodal point of the lens will be sat over here now it's not perfect but it's better than nothing so what I've done is I've taken a shot. If I just swing this camera around here, you might be able to see the jetty there. What I did is I looked at it in the corner there. So I put it off the edge and then when I started swinging it around, I then put it back into this corner here. Hopefully that's given me a really nice panoramic shot of this lake here of Derwent water. So this is looking down the middle of the jetty. Now what I'm going to do now is I want to just go to my left and basically try a different shot of the jetty looking over to the fells over this way. What's that going to produce? I don't know, but let's have a look and see what we can do. I've got a polarizer on the front as well and that's helping to take some of the sheen off the water. I don't want to elongate the exposure too much because it just for me I just don't want that. But well, in any case, let's go and try the next panorama and let's just see what we can do with that. Looking across Derwent water. This is the next view that I was talking about. So as you can see, I've got a, a side on view of the jetty here. And then you can see the fells there looking towards, this is Keswick down here. And then looking north westwards. So, is it okay? I'm going to see when I get back. What I've tried to do is basically do a composition that starts somewhere around here and then follows along to somewhere maybe around here or so. So getting the fowls, well what you can see are the fowls in the, the grey cloud up there, trying to get a, a side on view of the jetty. Now this rail here that I've got, this one here, what this is helping me to do is when I'm looking at these posts here on the side of the jetty, it should hopefully be helping to avoid any parallax errors when doing my panorama. We shall see when I get back to the digital workstation, but certainly uh, 
I think it will look better than if I would just had the camera just basically sat regularly in here and then trying to do my panoramic photo. Well, there you go. There's Derwent Water in the Lake District. Let's move on to the next spot, wherever that may be. I've no idea. Just enjoying this calm area of northwest England. As you can hear behind me, I've come to one of the waterfalls in the Lake District. And I'm really doing very well with this particular waterfall. It's, uh, I think it's called High Force. It's up the path from Aero Force, the more famous waterfall near Owlswater. And um, it's okay. I've got a picture or two, but I'm not really pleased with it at all. I can show you what it is that I've got, but I kind of don't really feel any inspiration coming here at all. I just wanted to have a look, actually, just see what it looked like. I've never been up here before, so... Um, yeah, there you go. Sometimes it works, sometimes it, it doesn't work. That's just the, the name of the game. So this is what's on the back of my camera, as you may or may not be able to see. Obviously, I'll flick up the image as I go along. But it's just not that inspiring for me. Basically, what I've done is I've kind of got a bit of an S-curve just coming down here. And it's okay, it's not brilliant, but, um, you know, there's not much I can do about it. One of the frustrating things is this lump of wood that's here it's just not really conducive to uh, the composition it is in my composition a little bit but um, it's kind of not much I can do and also the sky is uh, it's just pretty much a whiteout up there so I can't really include much of the sky but there you go that's a high force waterfall As I was feeling just a little bit uninspired back there, I thought I'd just walk the path a little bit more and just see if there was anything different. And there is. So I set up my camera here and I'm using my tilt shift. I swapped from my 2470 to my 24mm tilt shift. And the reason I've done that, if I could just get my camera back, is that basically there's trees that are there. You might be able to see that. I want them bolt upright. I don't want them collapsing in doing any converging vertical so I'm not using any front tilt on the the front of the lens just to get any sharpness it's fine at f11 and I got an exposure of about one and a half two seconds I think it is so it's getting me kind of what I want in my head again the sky isn't really playing ball it's starting to rain just a little bit but I'm getting something a little bit more I wouldn't say inspiring than I had in the previous segment but I'm getting something but I I'll just show you how I've set up the image and I might move a camera and do something different again. So I did actually move my camera just forward probably about two feet because I wanted to get more of these rocks here as well as the waterfall that is obviously just there. So on the back of my camera you may be able to see this is what's actually going on. Now I've cut out pretty much the sky, there's no point putting in the sky what would I try to get, and it's not that easy, is the waterfall, the running water coming down here. So there is this corner here that's being filled with a little bit of water. And this rock here is around on the third or so of this image. And then basically the, the spouts of water, they're basically just off the thirds. And then over here is the trees I was talking about here. But I wanted to keep bolt upright, so I, that's why I've used my tilt shift. Otherwise, if I put on just a 24mm and then basically tilt the lens down, what's going to happen is those trees will just cave in. I don't want that. I want everything to look really nice. So that was just moving two things forward, having trying and just to find a little bit more inspiration, just walking up the path and found something which is not amazing but it's better than what I did have so I'll flick up the final image so let's just take another one so it's on uh, an exposure of I think it's one and a half seconds if I remember right but there you go that's the image flick it up in a minute It's Sunday the 8th of December and this morning I've been joined by two people who live up this way. One of them is Paul Thompson who's 
over there I'll get him on camera lately he's had a bit of an accident with his uh, with one of his cameras but um, we're up here at the Langdale Pikes in Bleetan it's uh, bleak and wet and very cold this morning had a couple of things uh, I won't show you what it is that I've been doing but very simple shot very wide angle shot looking across the tarn but um, we'll decide what we're going to do throughout the day I'll get Paul on camera and uh, we'll go from there so I got Paul Thompson with me and Dick Coulthard back there he's joined us this freezing day up in the Lake District what the hell are we going to do today I don't know we'll have to think about something go somewhere else because this isn't really going to do it I don't think is well, it well no it's I mean there's uh it's <laughs> no, it's definitely not happening. <laughs> it's, uh, there's waves coming across Bleetarn as we speak. And, yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. So we'll probably go and find, I don't know, maybe it's a waterfall or yeah. something like that. Yeah, we'll do exactly. something. but um, Find something. Is it grey skies at the minute? There's not much colour about, is there? So. Well, there's a little bit of blue just gone over there. Yeah. But that's probably about all we'll see today. Blink and you'll miss it. Exactly. Blink and you'll miss it. The blue and you'll blink and you'll miss it. Well, uh I'm sure we'll be getting some kind of material for you out there that enjoy watching our, our vlogs. Until then, we're going to carry on and have a conflow and see where we're going to go on this wet, windy and wild day up in the Lake District. <laughs> that says it all. <laughs> we've had morning coffee and we've headed to Colworth Fort, which is... Uh, near Elter Water and we've found this amazing waterfall, it's a lot bigger than we imagined and uh, there's actually a hell of a lot of water coming down that waterfall as you can hear in the background and uh, of course as always the shot that you really want is in the most awkward place and I've managed to jam myself into somewhere to get the waterfall and then uh, there's like a little stone house, it's not a stone house, like a little kind of stone hut that's just down there and my tilt shift on the only way to do it really in this situation because of the house I don't want to the, the hut down there what I don't want to do is tilt the camera down and then just end up with horrible converging verticals and have to lose things on the edge of the frame so it's shifted down quite a lot actually it's shifted down nearly to the bottom of the lens the uh, of where that shift is but I've got my shot I've got it on f8 and it's around a third of a second just because there's so much water coming down there, you don't want the water to just look completely blurred and angel hair, it just, it just doesn't look right. It's such a powerful waterfall. But uh, that's where we are, Cold with Force, managed to find somewhere to, to park for free, which is always good in the Lake District because it costs too much money to park up around here. So um, we're going to move on now and see if we can find somewhere else to go. That's the end of the day, we've come to Rydal Hall just up from Ambleside and there's uh, the grot just behind me and, or behind us I should say, there's all three of us here and um, it's been a bit of a challenging day I would say with the weather but you know, got a bit of a stock shot of the, the grot of Rydal Hall up here so um, I would explain what it was that I did but uh, it keeps threatening to rain and it's already wet enough around here on the ground so I don't want to get my my bag and any of my gear too wet but uh, what I did for my shot was put on a, a 1.4 extender with a tilt shift, a 24mm tilt shift to get a shot and I think it's about 20 seconds so longer than I'd normally do for the for the water when it's, but there's so much water coming down there and actually the scene in a way looks kind of idyllic in some way so it kind of sets it off against uh, the scene down there I don't think this place would work very well in autumn this is all kind of green down there but um, in any case that's it for me maybe I'm going to get Mr Thompson back on camera again as he fiddles about with his filters and his Osmo gimbal back there smiling away so let's get him back on camera and see what he's got to say for himself because it's been one of those days up here in the Lake District hasn't it Mr Thompson? It has. So what have you got to say for yourself if I just turn this camera around here he is fiddling about oh probably too far <laughs> there we go yeah it's been, uh, it's been an interesting day hasn't it weatherwise well, it certainly has been interesting uh, he's probably on camera but uh, I guess if I put us out that far yeah 
Yeah, it's, it's been challenging. We've had branches on top of van roofs. We've had yeah, a few dents in your van roof. There's like three dents in his van. <laughs> Cameras in water. Yeah, that was a good mix. <laughs> or not. <laughs> or not. So, from me, from him, and from him, it's goodbye. I don't know when I'll see you on my next vlog. Paul's got a few coming up, so keep an eye on Paul's channel and uh, stick him up on my end card and whatever you want else you want to do. So, there you go. That's it from the Lake District. A very dull and miserable day in the Lake District. See you in the next one. Take care of yourselves and see you again soon.